Spiritual Minds Radio. Amazing things happens here. I often wonder why is it that man is unable to determine the difference between the physical and the spiritual. When God created you and me, he gave us the physical body. This body feels pain, it feels pleasure, it has arms and legs. It allows us to move about on this planet that we call Earth. This body does indeed have a beginning. See, let me tell you how it would end. They call it death. We must each must note here that each person already knows this as a fact and we have no questions on this. When the Lord God created us, he gave us the spirit inside of us. So, I'd like to refer to this as a soul. This is the spiritual part of us, so why so many thinking of this spirit of us residing in our brain. Why is it so difficult for us to gain, to see that we indeed have a spirit right on this plane? Is it that difficult to understand that this brain controls the functions of the body and nothing more, nothing less? Is it so difficult to understand that spirit is where our thoughts come from? Because the Bible calls it the intent of the heart. See, my point is, if we're able to see the difference between the physical and spiritual, then it should be easy to understand that God is spirit. Thus, when we worship the Lord, we must do it in spirit. God is spirit, and we worship him in spirit. So now you know the truth, and knowing this begs the question, what is the relationship between the physical and the spiritual? Is it not one of the planet, other? of eternity point being that when you die in this planet you enter eternity and so how does having physical wealth matter to the needs of the spirit is it that simple to see that the physical stays right here on earth and while the spirit goes back to the lord in eternity obviously this wealth stays right here the bible says god is spirit this then dictates that there is a greater need for our spirit because this life on earth is very short, very short, and so there must be a greater need for our spirit. A purpose for you and me to have one. The Bible tells us like, east unto the west. So this begs me to try to figure out how far the distance is, east to west, right? Is there a beginning that is not attached to the end? Where does the east begin? Where does it end? To the west. So, does this make sense to you? Going to the local? Tell me, in the cemetery, where is the wealth? Where is the wealth? If there was wealth in the cemetery, then there will be a, a grave robber, right? People stealing, right? If the wealth is in big houses, boats, and fancy cars, then what is the use? There are those who are already dead, so now the question goes back to the spiritual spirit spirit what does the needs of the spirit part of us as you must guess the eternity must last longer than this earth right you know the lord god spirit we then know that our spirit is more important than our body and we know the body stays right here in the spirit that goes to eternity that lasts forever it must be easy to see that we must pay attention to this destiny. If our spirit is in our body, right? It's the fact that it's body, right? It's the holy word of God and Jesus is God. And with the Holy Spirit and our Father, they are God. So Jesus is God and came to this earth and lived 33 years and then was murdered by his creation, you and me. The purpose was to shed his precious blood on the Calvary. So cover our sins. That is the payment required for you and me to enter heaven. So, no sin. God hates sin. He won't even tolerate it. A physical act by God to redeem his creation. But the problem is, too many few believe this and not even care. Again, if we die here on earth, where does the spirit go? No matter more. Is eternity more important than this life here on earth? The real question is, if eternity is lasted longer than this life, then why so many people are thinking about the eternity in the spirit? Why anyone concerned about where we must go after the spirit? 
People pay more attention to insurance on things that they can buy, things that they can fill, but yet there's no insurance in eternity and the spirit. People pay for vacations, lifestyles, job, and income, yet they don't have a plan for their spirit. They have a body, have a spirit wrapped up in one package, and yet they only concerned about one half of it in the spirit. That doesn't make sense to me. It's the physical. You must not see the spirit that is in me. Because Jesus said unto him, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. So if ye know me, ye know should know my Father also. And yet herefore ye know him, you have seen him. Obviously Jesus saying, if you haven't seen me, then you've seen the Father if you've seen me and he is saying no one comes to the Father but by me the Spirit yet this is what the Spirit needs to know Jesus is the only way to heaven so get the Spirit does the prophecy of gospel or the feeling good gospel have anything to do with the patches that I just said or does it not your mission here on earth is not the wealth of the world but neither is feeling good about yourself Render unto Caesar what is things of the Caesars, and unto God things that are God. So now you decide what belongs to this world and what belongs to God. Everyone is running around this little planet doing what they could do about that in the grand scheme of things. Is, what is all this running around amount to? If it's not of God, then does it matter? If you live 80 years, then what does those 80 years amount to? The important thing is then done anything to God for the eternity of spirit. The eternity of spirit. Okay, for those who math effort out there, what is the difference between the length of 80 years and eternity? Do you do the draft here? Do the math. Mark 8, 38, 37. Mark 8, 36, 37. For what profit a man? If he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul, and what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Maybe his spirit. Here's your answer in black and white. It's the holy word of God. Read it. Believe it. Because it's absolute truth. Spirit. Your purpose. Being here on earth is to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And that is the end of it. Spirit. If you felt that, your eternity will be in hell in a lake fire. Ray long spirit. Enter ye in the street gate. Why is the gate? Raw is the way. Leaves in destruction. How many would be to go to that threat because it's straight the gate? And neither is the narrow the way which leads unto life. Hmm. Few will find it. Is it the holy word of God or absolute truth? It denies what our mission here on earth is. This is important for you to know and read the word of God, the Bible. If it's any other gospel, it's wrong. If it's any other Jesus, it's wrong. If you believe anything else, then you'll see the lake of fire is strong. I have heard so many things, well, I have given my own belief. It's good for you. If there's anything else than Jesus, you're lost, lost for eternity. It is not a good thing. Don't listen to anyone else. Get a Bible and read it. Believe it. That is the best key there is. Because if people spent as much time in the Holy Word of God as they do in work and everything else in this life, then there will be none left on earth after the rapture. Yet the Word of God tells us that the majority of people on earth will walk in the highway to hell. And unto the lake of you know what ends up in the spirit so what is obviously horrible is they will choose to walk that highway to destruction spirit you know what the real zombie apocalypse is it's all the zombies walking down to the highway of hell in the spirit no thoughts no hope and you don't care about where they're headed so tell me I'm wrong so simple. The choice is to make Jesus as eternity. Choose Jesus 
or destruction, your choice.